I didn't get any acknowledgement or acceptance from my master until one day he said he wanted all the lawyers in the firm to do research on a very important point and they'd all failed. And this is a story about that incident. That was a very difficult case. It's reported, I will not mention that name. Clients had borrowed a large sum of money from the bank, millions of dollars, and the monies were to be paid in tranches, first tranche, second tranche, third tranche, fourth tranche. And so the client had borrowed the first tranche, he had borrowed the second tranche, he had done a lot of groundwork, hundreds of acres of land were being cleared, and then what happened was, he was going to draw down the third tranche and the bank somehow stopped it. And when we tried to argue the point, the position taken by the other side was, the bank is not your trustee. So the bank doesn't have to behave like your trustee. It's a contractual relationship. So when I give you a loan, I know you have to wait for five trenches to draw down and pay your debtors, but I can cut you off anytime I want. So my master had to argue against it, but he wanted a proposition from me and he said, look, go and get me a case that says, a mortgagee is not a trustee. You know, a bank lends you money, they don't have to behave like trustees. So I was wondering, is he acting for the developer or is he acting for the bank? He was acting for the bank. He was acting for the financial institution. I didn't know that. So he had asked all his senior lawyers, lawyers of 30 years standing, 20 years standing, 25 years standing, 30 years standing, and none of them could do it. In frustration, he's got a rack of books on to his left on a, on a wheel. So th they were filled with books. He calls me and says, you are a clock watcher. You are a waste of my time. What are you doing here? Huh? Do some research. Get me an authority that says a mortgagee is not a trustee. I knew everybody had failed and I was telling myself, today I'm going to get it. He's going to flay the skin off my body. You know, so I went and started looking and I found a book. There was a judge in England who wrote a book on land law. I found it and as I was turning it, it's a very, very old book was probably about 70 years old, I turned it and I found a line that says, in no wise is a mortgagee a trustee. I was overjoyed without thinking like an idiot. I went and showed it to him. Big, thick book, I'm showing it to him. He said, stop blocking my light. So I, sorry sir, I give him the book. When he received the book, his hands went down because the book was a bit heavy. If I am not careful, you fellas will dislocate my arm, he said. I said, okay. And he took it. Where's the line? So I point to the line. My master is a person who's a speed reader. He can read 30 pages in less than 10 seconds. I'm not kidding you. He'll just go like that. He will know what's where. He can quote to you out of the memory. Anybody in the bar will tell you that's how he was. And you know what he did? He went three pages before the line and I was telling myself, oh God, I made a mistake. He will always tell me, before you show anything to the judges, read three pages before and then read three pages after. Get it in context. See in what context the statement was made. Is it an important point or is it a simple, you know, not so important point? Be careful. So, he was doing that, I was telling myself, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. He goes like that. He looks at me. I'm obliged. That is all the acknowledgement I have gotten from Dato Sri Ram. I've been in practice for a very long time. That is the only acknowledgement I got from him. He takes that book and he puts it and then he calls his litigation club. Raju, come here! And Raju comes running into the library. Raju at that time was about 55. Threw away all these books. Flag that book. Bundles of authority. Send it to the other side. Send it. You know, when the next day the case was being heard. 
come to the court with me. So I was asked to sit right at the back and it was a moment of great pride when this case was cited. It's reported, you will find it. But the point is, if you could give him an authority that he couldn't find, he would respect it. And that day, I, I got the respect. And because of that, months later, when I finished my pupillage, he insisted that I stay with him as his uh, legal assistant. But of course, by the time he became a judge, that wasn't possible. But he was nevertheless very kind to me. So that is the story I would like to remember of Dato Sri Ram and if my grandchildren were to ask me these stories, of course I would tell them these stories. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good day. It was on this day, ages and ages ago, that my master actually acknowledged my presence in the firm and he accepted me as a person and afterwards he treated me well and that was a turning point in my life.